Okay. We're live. But are we truly, truly live? Yeah, we probably are. But here we are, testing the audio in the morning as we do. It is Friday! Shuno, please. Twitch.tv slash Shuno, please. That's how you be part of the live studio audience. Come and join <laughs> that studio audience. Oh, you know what? I don't even have the microphone hooked up. But we're all good. We're all here. We are all here. This might be a little annoying. I mean, I guess I could just my mute it while I do. It is the final day. The glory is upon. And it will be so glorious. Oh, this isn't even on. Here we go. I have everything on. Everything is on, everything is ready. Yep, and it's Mario Day. No headband. Good point. A very good point. Where are those headbands? Let's go find them. I bet it's in the laundry room. Yes. Here we go. Blue or orange? Maybe we should match today. Get all orange. There we go. I don't have my mirror in here anymore. I gotta get a new one. Put it upstairs. So Moxie can use her new exercise equipment with a mirror. Luckily I have cameras. There we go. Yep, changes are coming. Big changes. She's got a Pilates chair. It's a strange looking thing. <sighs> Here we go. That's... Oh, I can feel it in my back. I did a big big back and arm workout yesterday. I've just about hit my goal weight again. Which is great. But I don't have the cheese grater abs yet, so I must keep going. And of course tonight, I'm getting pizza. I said I wouldn't get pizza until Halloween. But I think it's worth celebrating. I'm gonna go easy on it though. It's all about a change in discipline. Yes, I'm very excited for it. I think October is gonna be when the craziness really begins. And the fun begins. I've got a couple weeks of, you know, just totally preparing for what I've got coming. I 
I guarantee you it is not what you think it might be. Terrible discipline, clean up diet, yeah. It's hard, it's, you know, I think a lot of people went one of two ways. They either use this time to like, just kick your own ass into shape and, and come out. Well, look at that, 147, barely did anything. Or you've used this time to spiral into just this rut. I've definitely done both. Robot, robot, who needs a charge? Who's the most stunningly beautiful in the world at large? Wow. That would be you, Miss Allegra. Good job. Okay. It would be nice if the Twitch manager on the phone did just a little more. Stream manager. You like the planning stages? I find them a little stressful because I don't know what I should focus on most of the time. Robot Robot who's now plugged in, who has the steeliest buns that have ever been? <laughs> that would be... Why did I even ask? Titanium White. Who the hell is Titanium White? Titanium White, Miss Allegra. Buns steelier than mine? Did I plug you in wrong? My answer is truth. Wing Flap Falls. Shouldn't it be me? I have the steeliest buns. Titanium white. Why would we find titanium white? <laughs> Ring fit is ridiculous. Level 147, yeah. I mean, it is mostly the same thing over and over and over. I know, and my view count has really reflected how long and committed I've been to this. Hasn't it? See, I'm living proof that you can't just do the same thing over and over and expect different results. Yeah. Run for it, titanium. Here we go. Fitness gaming. And that is why some big changes are coming, Shay. I didn't put out a YouTube video this week. I said weekly, I got a little, not so much. I can't even say I was lazy. I've been working so hard. It's just, you gotta, I gotta focus. You know, I've got lots of footage of stuff I've been doing lately, but it's mostly B-roll. I gotta think of what I'm gonna talk about. A list of things you wanna do for your stream. I think my next video is just going to be about the tasks I've been doing to lead up to the end of summer. I don't really know what else to do. The one after that, though, I think I'm going to talk about just in general, how do you know when you're ready to quit your job, move on to the next thing? I think that's a uh, topic worth exploring. Now, I've moved my monitor a little closer. Not too close, not too close. So that hopefully I can see it on the floor now. Actually, maybe I can just bring this down a little bit. That might help.
Yeah, I think the topic is one worth discussing. Oh, I don't have this light on back here. I got nothing to stand on. Reach, damn it. There it is. Ooh. That's better. There's something different about this. Oh, I don't have my floor light on. It's way over here, it's not plugged in. Well, shucks. That's what you get when you start experimenting. All discombobulated. That's definitely not the position. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, 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 don't. Cut it out. There we go. Is that a bit much? That's a strange, harsh light. Oh, this camera really needs to be color corrected. It's so white. That's okay, who cares? Let's get the mat. What am I doing? Leg raises? Yeah. Sometimes you have to get unprepared to get prepared. for new things. Ah, that's way better. I can really see the stream now, or the, uh, the chat, I think, until I go right on the floor. Eh, close enough. That was ridiculously quick. Oh, now I'm doing boat pose. Oh, I need the ring. Did I just kill something else? Jesus. Why am I so powerful? Ooh. I am really feeling it today. I don't think I've quite recovered from the last day. I guess I've been exercising a bit harder and differently because we can't go outside as much or haven't been. So I've been using the rower more. I'm probably gonna have to start remembering to give myself a break. Do some rest days. I suppose I could turn on like all aerobic exercises in Ring Fit. Oh, flutter kick, wow. It's not giving me a break at all. Yikes, it's killing me.
Whew. Give me a break. Look, good. He was one away. Rest days are important. Yeah. Maybe I've gone too far. I had to change up all these scenes. This one was not optimized for ring fit. It's actually for sit down regular gaming. It works, yeah, true. It does the job. These are actually surprisingly hard scenes to make. Because I have to use mirror sources and masks and then animating them. Doing all that. I mean, I guess they're not hard to make, but they take time. Oh, pose again. That's the thing about random. Oh. <clears throat> it is quite time consuming. But I think the effect is worth it. Although, honestly, people don't come to your stream to look at your fancy shit. Yeah, you should switch to regular OBS. There's so much more you can do. Just use stream elements instead. I can show you some things. Hell, you make already a lot of graphic stuff. I could make you like the animated and fun stuff. I just don't have graphics. We have the opposite problem. We should really work together. I'll be having animated um, borders and stuff in the not too distant future. So anything that your stream has with all its fancy animated overlays, they're not that fancy. I could show you how. Yours is actually, the, the font is like really hard to see where it says like new follower and all that shit. What kind of graphics do I want? <sighs> well, if I tell you, then I'm, I might give away my my secret. Maybe some pinup girls. Mm hmm. Um, what graphics do I want? <sighs> I actually can't think of too many graphics that I want at this point. But like, you think when like a new follower comes in, I mostly just need to put in the work. I've got, I don't know if you can see it, probably not because I've hidden it well. I've actually got a pole up here right now. Maybe you can see it on the wide cam. I've hidden it quite well, but there is a pole over there in the corner. It's actually lined up perfectly with the corner. This guy, and there's another pole over there and there's a rod going across the top and that's going to be for my green screen. So I can throw it up, hopefully, hopefully quickly, and record some stuff for alerts. So you can just do whatever and have people jumping out of things. I don't know. I'm also going to paint the garage door. I don't know if you noticed the garage door is all painted. I did all of that earlier this week, 
and I built the wall, as you saw, and I still need to put the plywood on this side of the wall, and then I'm gonna paint that green screen green as well. So even if this annoys me, I'm gonna have like this permanent thing, I can just up the garage door, shine some lights, and I've got green screen ready to go. That will be very useful, I think. I have been productive, at least in some respects. But it needs to pay off. Planking. It's helped that I've um, been pretty relaxed at work. It's both been slower and I've cared less, obviously. The guy replacing me asked me a whole bunch of questions last night. To try to determine whether or not the job was worth taking. He is a real estate agent. I was able to Google him. No, nope, he probably went on Craigslist. That's how he found me. The question is whether or not he can keep people. Is it worth it? It's worth it if you don't mind lying to people. It's a good job for someone who has no other ridiculously crazy ambitions like I do. And who doesn't have mental breakdowns every time they have to tell someone a literal lie. Yes. Oh, I'm still on the wide cam. Whoops. Breakfast at Cheetah's. Yeah. The boss was pretty paranoid that I would talk about money. I didn't say anything. He didn't ask. He really wanted to have a phone conversation. In person, but uh, that couldn't happen. No, sir. Mountain climbers. Where to put those weights? Fun conversations are best. I heartily disagree. It really depends on what you're trying to do. Usually, people have phone conversations because they don't want a written record of it. If we don't want a Rick or written of it, Rick, ret, written record of it, what exactly are you trying to pull? Because you're probably trying to pull something. Okay. Uh, we're getting kind of slow here. I'm trying to get to 100 calories before eight. I'm not so sure.
Oh, and that would be why. Too easy. Send an email after a phone conversation. Yeah. But I'm on my way out. You know? I don't really give a fuck. There's no more following up for me. At least not with bullshit I don't care about. But this is it. It's truly time to sink or swim here. I feel ready. I may not be like smart, but I'm ready. So I hope that counts for something. I know what I have to do. I just need to do it. That's the theory. If you commit long enough, it'd be okay. But you also have to do something good. You can't just do the same bullshit. I mean, just look at me here. Well, I've accomplished something. I've, I've gotten to my goal weight and my fitness has improved tenfold. But if my goal here was to attract viewers playing ring fit, I have failed. Fortunately, it was never the goal. It was merely something fun to do while achieving other goals. Like your art, even if viewers aren't happening, you're getting a shit ton of art done. It's a fun thing to do while accomplishing other goals. My video on organizing YouTube is doing a lot better than the interview. Um, and it's fun to look at the analytics because it's one of the only videos I have where the majority of people who find it are finding it through the search. They're searching for ways to organize YouTube and arriving at that video. So how-to videos, actual how-tos, I think I need to make sure that they're part of my I think it's got like double the views at least. It's been out a week longer, but it's not being viewed by subscribers. In fact, I've lost subscribers on that video, but my view count's gone up. So my goal is sub subscribers, how to's aren't very good for that because people would be like, I'm looking for an answer. There's the answer. Okay, bye. It's really, I think you really need to have a mix. Cause you never know the odd person that comes to it. And it's like, oh, this person also does a tiny house. Oh, I'll check that out. It's like a, a lost leader. Bank balance. I get it. Lost him on that video because it tells me. I currently have minus one subscribers on that video. At least as of yesterday. I get it. For the most part though, because I had a dead channel, well, an inactive channel, for as long as I did, um, when you put a new video out f for the first time in a while, people are like, oh, I forgot I was subscribed to this. I don't care about this. So you do run the risk just when you come back of people leaving. 
who have forgotten that they were subscribed. I'm trying not to take it personally. I got a lot of subscribers while I was putting nothing up. It's just balancing out. Okay. Oh shit. Oh wow. Perfect. <sighs> I need 150 more subscribers though to get monetized. It's aggravating. I was monetized and then they upped the amount you need. I probably would have gotten a few more hundred dollar checks by now. Is there no store here? What is this? Well, 150s shouldn't be that many. Shouldn't be that hard. What they up it to a thousand? And you need a whole bunch of hours watched within a certain time period as well. I think I have the hours. Should probably check that again. Either way, it's it's tuned to the point where if you have content people want to see, basically, a thousand subscribers and the amount of hours that you you need, basically happen at the same time. Once you're making short and bullshitty videos, I guess. But For YouTube, it's all about time spent on the platform. They want to make sure people are there and not somewhere else. It's a weird thing that like all of these social media platforms are just straight to like, here's how you make money doing, play, doing what we're doing stuff here. It's like no longer about just sharing stuff, it's just about like, here's the business model. But I mean, they are a content platform, they need content to bring other people in. They need content creators, so... I guess as soon as you express any kind of interest in becoming one of those, they just say, alright, you're no longer a viewer, here's how you make money. One of the biggest things I could do is make inspirational videos for other YouTubers. It's such big business on YouTube to talk about making things for YouTube. It's kind of ridiculous. Because so many people have the dream. What, I could make money? Making videos? Wow, that sounds so easy. It's fucking anything but easy. Makes me do a random attack, and of course I'm doing a yellow attack on this purple guy. This is it, you need a following. It is, I don't even want to think about what it would be like to start from zero. I mean, I guess I kind of tried again, but like only for three weeks. Starting from zero is hard. You really do need to go find other means of bringing people to even watch your YouTube videos. Like. At least get every single family and friend you know to go watch your video in the first 48 hours. I think you basically have to do that starting out. And if you don't have that resource, a lot of people don't. It's not gonna happen. Although one strategy I've seen work recently is finding other small channels, which I, I really need to do this. Finding other really small channels and either collaborating or just commenting and becoming part of their community. And you share the viewership basically. Because you're fighting the algorithm the whole time. If your video is not being put in front of people, it can't be clicked on. So you need to put it in front of people yourself.
But you need to prove to YouTube that your videos are worth clicking on. And worth watching all the way through. Clicking isn't enough. It has to be engaging. At least to the point where that first ad comes in. I'm not even sure if you have the option to turn ads off on your YouTube channel anymore. I better not have ads turned off. You just know YouTube does not push your stuff if you have ads turned off. What's in it for them? They're just a free hosting platform at that point. This shit costs money. Twitch too. Twitch does not make money. They lose money unless you're making them money. Like, just think about it. It takes bandwidth, it takes resources. I am costing Twitch right now to do what I'm doing. I get it free. And it just costs Twitch money. I don't know, did you see an ad when you first logged onto my stream? I have no idea if ads show up for me. Those pre-roll ads are fucking annoying, but I can understand why they do it. And if you subscribe on Twitch, you don't have the ads, so. Yeah, I've been noticing that too. It's weird. Good ads when you're the next tier. <sighs> yeah. I wonder if it's just views of people who popped into the stream popped out as well. Cause that happens, I think. I can't imagine that many people are clicking on my video. That's just really weird. They're certainly not following if they do. I wonder if bots do it. Especially with all the copyright bots now. Actually, that's probably it. It's probably every record company's bot sweeping through. I wouldn't be surprised. Not one bit. Actually, I could probably go back and see it when I started using music. I bet that's when it happened. Because even this music, somebody's making money off of it. Someone still owns these songs, they're just allowing them to be used. And they're gonna receive royalty from me using them. That's the whole business model. And if I had 20, Nine hours in a day, maybe I'd spend five of them working on music to do just that. Sixteen, most five. Yeah, really weird. Could just be whatever song you had playing. Who knows? If you're still playing music.
same playlist every day. Yeah, but the only way for the bots to know it's the same one is if they come in and sample it. Oh, 72 calories. Maybe I will make it to 100 a day. Yes. Oh, I forgot to put on the standing cam. Do you ever notice any drop frames? Is there a place to go look at them? It says zero on OBS. I noticed when I was doing some recording tests, and it was more going on with OBS, but not much. It was still like CPU was under 10. I was watching the recording back, and there were like big chunks where it, you know, paused and skipped ahead. Very frustrating, and I hope it's not happening through Twitch. I don't care as much if the recording isn't working. I don't actually record my streams, I just download them from Twitch later. I must have everything too loud, eh? Probably hear it in my microphone. Had to change your settings in OBS, yeah. Apparently if you log in, if you right click on OBS before you open it and go like launch as administrator, that helps a lot because it prioritizes OBS. So I learned that yesterday. I'm gonna try that next time. Leg raise. But that, I wasn't even playing something on my PC. It was literally just playing on my Switch like I normally do. But I had other shit going on for my surprise. A lot of fancy effects. But even when they weren't on, like they were hidden sources and they were still skipping around. I'm just wondering if hidden sources are still kind of active and therefore taking up precious resources. I guess I'll just know after my first stream of my surprise. Okay. I was like, I gotta go down in like two hits. Look at him, he's so weak. That's a whole lot of getting on the floor for nothing. Oh no. You're gonna have to find this surprise on your own. It's gonna be not obvious. I'll give you a hint. A very small hint. The surprise won't appear on this channel. So you may never come across it. There's that chance. I shouldn't even be talking about it. It's really not like I'm leaving much here. This channel will still be used. Can't have surprises all the time.
I think I'll get to 100. Maybe even during this fight. So that's good. I always think I'm not gonna make it, but then something happens. And yeah, it has to be a new channel. Not everyone's gonna be able to appreciate it. <sighs> this always gives me such a head rush. Yep, it'll be on Twitch. It will be playing to Twitch's strengths. Awesome. <sighs> I'm only talking about it because it's only you here. Oh, good God. Whew. Huh, do I need to use a healing item? I don't get the choice. Hmm. Flutter kick. Have you thought any more about my idea? You should draw the Twitch streamers. You don't even have to draw them all sexy like. Just draw them like sitting playing games. I think it's brilliant. November. Just do both. Double your Twitch time. Or half your Drawloween time. Insta over Twitch. Hmm. So when you're on Twitch, do Twitch streamers on Instagram, do Drawloween. Use Drawloween to bring you to your Twitch stream. And then on Twitch, October, whatever. You know? I, 
think it's a good idea. Are you saying though you won't do Twitch through October? How much time? Do you? you have as much time as you want to have. That's how much time you have. <laughs> the hard part is doing it while Dave's around, isn't it? And I get that. Oh, I get that big time. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Wait, did you get the house? You've closed and you're moving in. You have a moving date? Because then I understand. Packing is a pain in the ass. As long as it's still warm on the 25th, that close. Wow, well that's fucking exciting. So you're still looking at places to make sure you still want it? Inspection is next Wednesday. Well, goddamn. So whether or not you still want it is based on the inspection. Well, holy shit. 300 properties, oh God. You're about to take one giant leap into a adult-like world. That's not fair. Renting for life is just as much of an adult decision. It might even be the smarter one for a lot of people. In fact, for a lot of people, it's definitely the smarter one. Terrifying. Dave is very calm. Well, you know, it's just giant commitment. Hey, as long as you're making money in life, Buying things is not that scary. Because you can make more money. What's scary is making decisions that hurt other people. Or that could. Those are the scary things in life. Having someone rely on you. Not being able to go back on it like kids. Oh, good God. Those are the scary things. Buying a house, pff, you can sell a house. Yeah, you've lost a shit ton of money, but... Hey, maybe you've gained some, but probably you've lost a shit ton of money. But you can make more money. And you can make money in so many weird and wonderful ways.
dead meat. Okay, I hope that was the last battle. One forty eight. Front press level three. Hell no. There's the end. The merciful end. All right. Okay, okay. 148 the octopus. <laughs> nice. That one works. That's an original. Aren't you creative? They could even add arms to it, make it longer. Real creepy like. Okay. Oh, I may as well get this chest while I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Over at Hip Shake. Oh, I know we are all into that. Yeah, we're gonna set that one. Your chest doesn't do that much, frankly. Okay. Ah, uh, no. Quit here and cool down? Yep. Not too shabby. Right at eight o'clock. You streaming today? Good news for you. Oh my God, 1,000 wide squat reps. It's amazing. Yep. An extra wide squatter, wow. You know, that's a shit ton of wide squats. Boat pose. 500. Yeah. Okay, well. I've come to realize no one needs to watch me stretch. You let me know when you're gone and I'll just end the stream. Heading out. Alrighty. See you in a minute over there. Oh, I went to a Halloween store yesterday. You're probably already gone. Halloween is the best. Going again today. Widen your stance, place your hands on your knees, and 
Drop your whips. Bye, everyone. Hey. I guess that's about it for tonight, huh? Godzilla would like to say one thing. Arc. Goodbye for now.